there was nobody working on a way to diagnose it, a treatment, a cure. I went to a couple different conferences. The researchers would stand up, read their paper, sit down, leave the conference. Nobody was talking, nobody was sharing. There was not going to be a treatment in sight, and my daughter was sick at home. So I decided it was time for us to work and, and do something about it, and as desperate parents, and we had been going to all the MS Society uh, uh, conferences and, and, and met Melissa's wonderful parents and Melissa along the way. Uh, but we as parents decided that somebody's going to do something about this and nobody was doing anything about it, so I started a foundation. And uh, so in 2012, I started Open Medicine Foundation. And I call it Open Medicine because we, we facilitate and fund research that researchers will share. Open, collaborative research. And the idea was to get a bunch of researchers together to start talking about these illnesses. And so I met up with Dr. Ron Davis that you saw in the video, and you see his son is bedridden, and he's been in bed for years and years, but he literally hasn't gotten out of his room in over three years. He can't communicate, he can't talk, he can't eat. He's fed by tubes, and, um, and I, I went there every week for a year, and I never even met him because you can't go into his room. Uh, his parents can't uh, talk to him or see him. Um, he's horrible. but. He is the director, Dr. Ron Davis is the director of the Stanford Genome Technology Center, and I figured, well, if he's going to, if he could bring the researchers, I'll bring the money, because now we're both desperate parents and only doing this to cure our kids. In the meantime, both of us, he and I, found out that millions of people around the world have this and had no idea. I mean, there are over 20 million people, literally, who have this all over the world. Over two and a half million people have this just in the United States. So this was not rare, but nobody knows about it. I mean, you know, most people don't even know what this is. Um, so I said to him, if I bring the money, will you bring the scientists? And he said yes. And he brought out three Nobel laureates onto my board. And so we have top researchers and top, really top, top people in their field looking at this now.